Aaron, how can recruiters work on improving candidate experience? Yeah, I think it goes back to what we've been discussing before about the communication things. I think um, I think back to someone who I worked with who once said that if you know your candidates or, cli- or clients like the back of your hand, if you, if you know the name of their children, for example, then you really have got a good relationship with that individual. And I think the, the more rapport you build with that person, the more you, points of contact you have, the better that control is going to be in the process. So you know that if that person starts to, to not be able to speak to you or they're busy or they're, they're not answering your calls, that something might have gone awry. You know, but if you if you're able to to, to contact that person and say, can you speak in 10 minutes? I'm like, yeah, cool. Call me now, actually. You know, I walk out and I'll leave the office floor and you can call me now. You've got a better relationship with them. And that is is kind of for me the big piece for keeping that process. And at the point of every contact, you're asking them, you know, are you have you been approached by the companies? Are you still interviewing elsewhere? What stage are you at? You know, managing those expectations, keeping the conversation uh, on on a, on, a, on, a, on a continuous basis are really key points for that. Indeed. Building a good relationship with the candidates is the key.